Yes, girl. So we're doing Shannon's nails today for Valentine's Day. Yes. It's an air quotes tutorial. Oh, um, pillow to sit on? No, f your pillow. Did you make these yourself, Shannon? No. <laughs> That's her dog who has a tiny baby jaw. It's underdeveloped. All right, Shanny. To be clear, I'm I'm a novice. I'm fairly good at what I do, mm -hmm. but I am a novice. And I was thinking I would give you something a little gothy. Shannon's got goth vibes. Goth girl click. That's a little peep song. R.I.P. <laughs> to a, a real one. Song. Oh, Don't say that. that. Here's something about Shannon. <laughs> Shannon didn't know the song No Scrubs. It was little things like that have escaped her. But now I do know it. And the bottle song. You got problems? I'll solve them. You, you just put that, that bitch in the bottle. bottle. Yeah. Don't let security through. Well, I see you security too. And I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm in control. I'm going to take that whore to new lows. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Anyway. I was uh, <laughs> going to do a tutorial on how to do the red chrome nails. And I was filmed the whole thing and then I realized the battery died on my camera so now we're here doing your nails instead. Perfect. <laughs> here, do I wear these? Please put these on to protect your flesh from the UV lights. <laughs> what about this part? Those I feel like that's the most important part to the phalanges <laughs> is the nail. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> Need for speed. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go golfy. Love it. Does that work for you? That totally works for me. So I just want to see. I don't think I have a choice though. <laughs> no, you totally have a choice. Is that because the camera's rolling? <laughs> <laughs> There's no choices in baseball. Because you have to go black next week. Do you want to go super bright? Yeah, let's have fun. What's Are, your vibe? And you want an accent now? I, I need you to say on I camera you want an accent now. Because I don't want people to think that was my idea. Whatever you want to do. My nails are your nails. You want an accent now. No, I really say do. Say it to my <laughs> face. Jordan, she likes an accent now, doesn't she? She loves an accent now. I know. I saw your engagement nails or your honeymoon nails. That no, I was you so good. You had to go behind I my back. Two, I had a... two nails, so it wasn't it wasn't an accent nail. There were two of them <laughs> that were a light blue. Wow, I'm so sweaty. Is anyone in frame? Should we do glitter? Do you want to be a glitter girl? Do you want? Should mommy be a glitter girl? Is mommy a glitter girl? Is mommy a glitter girl? I was thinking about because I like doing everybody's nails so much because it means I get to practice my new skills. And then I realized this is hella unsanitary. And I need to f clean this sh between clients. But none of you hoes are paying me, so it's like, who cares? A little fungus among friends, right? <laughs> Yelp about it. You know what I'm saying? You could do Jordan's nails. Nope. I don't have time for that. I have an improv show. Wow. Are you doing a show? Yeah, but I don't want anyone to come. I haven't done a show in five years. Oh, you're in it? Or three years. Yeah. We have to go. No, you literally can't. Oh. I stopped doing improv like three years ago and I was like, when Joe and I started talking about having kids, I was like, I should probably go back because I won't have any life. <laughs> <laughs> you need a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm... I'm doing it now, um, and tonight's a show, and I was like gonna not do the show because I'm like not at show level. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be great. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and I feel bad because the guy keeps sending out flyers. He's like, go ahead and feel free to promote it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. No one can know I'm here. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding me? You said your little lovey. She's gonna have lipstick on her snoot. <laughs> From the kissing. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I can tell that you usually have your nails rounded. That's not the game we're playing today. <laughs> Are you squaring my nails? Yeah. You psycho. I know. I've never had square nails. It's like, I was wondering why you were filing so intensely. <laughs> so we're going for like a nice little coffin vibe. Do you guys know how I met Joe? No. Not really. So I had moved to LA. Ooh. And I had been very alone for a really long time. And like really alone, like never been kissed alone. And then um, I started working with this crazy bitch doing this blog called Lark Lark Who's There. And what we would do is we would match with guys on Tinder and then we would convince them to do embarrassing things. Like I would have guys go out into the middle of the street screaming things because I'd be like, here, I'm at your house, but I can't find it. Like, will you come out? And then they'd be like, okay, okay, I'm outside. And they'd be like, oh no, I must be really far away because I can't see you. Will you come to the middle of the street oh, no. and start screaming, red lady, come get me or like something like that. And I'd be recording the phone call. <laughs> and then we would post that on our blog. Oh good. And we would also just like have fun conversations like I'd be like 
like, oh, I just got this cat in Chinatown, and I'm not supposed to get it wet or feed it after midnight. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> and, and they would just go with it. And that's on men. Whatever. Joe and his partner, James, not gay. <laughs> no, no hate or judgment, but like, if you live with a dude for 16 years and you share a French bulldog, you're probably gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were doing comedy content for Jamie Kennedy. And the girl I was working with had dated Jamie Kennedy. Mm. And so they were aware of our blog. And then we started talking about like working together. But I, as I told you, was going through a never been kissed stage of my life. So when I saw Joe's Facebook, I told this girl to send Joe text messages being like, meet me on the west side, like come get me. And he just never came. <laughs> it went so far as at one time I sent him a picture of me in my bra, threw this girl to him. And he still was like, no. Later he told me it's because that girl's a compulsive liar and he's not wrong. She's a compulsive liar. <laughs> so he's like, I just didn't think any of this was true. I thought she was trying to get James to come out and she oh. was doing it by convincing me that some girl wanted to f me. But I saw that picture and was like, that's not for me. <laughs> and so then I met, I went to his house because we were going to start working together. They wanted to produce video content to go with our, to go on our website. Yeah. And we're super into it because they're very funny. So we have our initial meeting and in my mind I was like, I'm not leaving tonight after this meeting. Like I will be staying yeah. here and at least kissing Joe. We're all like having a great time. We're like, this is going really well. We get Chinese food to celebrate and, um, and then, you know, everyone else is drinking but me. And the night's winding down. And uh, he goes, well, if you want to, you can stay on the couch. And I go, no, I'm not, I don't really want to stay on the couch. He's like, well, we have a guest room. You can come stay in this guest room. I was like, no, I don't really want to stay in the guest room. And then he's like, well, if you really wanted to, you can stay in my room. And I'll give you some basketball shorts. And I'll stay on one side of the bed, but I won't touch you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we wound up in his room. And he was like, tell me a story. And I told him the story of Utsi the Iceman, which has been my favorite story since I was two years old. <laughs> Do you know that? Uh, no. How do you guys not know the story of Utsi the Iceman? What is Utsi the Iceman? Utsi! Utsi! Utsi the Iceman is a prehistoric gentleman that was found in the Alps between Switzerland and Italy. <laughs> Switzerland? Switzerland and Italy. Switzerland. I might be wrong. I don't, I don't, geography's not my bad. Is this a frozen mummy? Yeah, and he's the guy that looks like this because he was found like after he'd like fallen asleep in a blizzard and he was frozen forever. And in 1993, a couple of like ice hikers were like, this is a murder scene. And then they were like, why does he have an ax and a bow and arrow? And why is he only wearing grass and fur? Like, this is an old body. I really thought this was gonna be a fairy tale. Yeah, no, link to Utsi's story in description below. <laughs> Check that shit out, it is wild. So I tell him that story. <laughs> <laughs> this is your bedtime story that you yeah. gave him of Utsi. Because it's the story I used to get before bed. Which might explain a lot, honestly. <laughs> I'd get like that, and if you're not quiet, you're gonna get snatched like poly class. So I was quiet. Is this the one you were telling me about at Disneyland? Probably. It's always making sense now. Can you... <laughs> so I tell him the story and then he goes, can I kiss you? And I go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day, um, he like when we parted ways, I like went home for a long period of time and I know that he went to work. And while he was at work, I went back to his house and snuck into his room. And I put my headshot in Joe's bed and signed it, don't make it weird, and left it on his pillow. I love you. <laughs> you would terrify me. That would be horrible. Horrifying. And then I, when he finally, he like text, he like messaged me on Facebook, which is why I know the exact day we met, which was June 7th. And he was like, really, it was really fun hanging out with you last night. Like, I look forward to working with you. And he sent me his number. And then I started texting him relentlessly. Yeah. Like, I've been outside your work for three hours screaming your name. <laughs> Who the f is she? And he like confessed. He's like, I was really scared. And I thought you <laughs> might be too much. <laughs> and then he asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. And we've been together ever since. Oh, look at that. Now we can focus on the nails. That was supposed to take the whole duration of the nail. We're gonna start. Okay, so do we want to go bright ass pink, bitch? You like, do whatever we... you want to do. I need it, but... Ooh! Ooh! That's great in the blue it's light. Like neon. I wish it was like that all day. Right? Wow! That is That is happy. That, that is, is a joy. happy That color. is a joy nail. Okay, trade. Yeah, that's pure yeah, joy. You were right. Honestly, look at that. I wish it looked like that outside in the real world. But nothing ever does. No. Never. Nothing ever lives up outside the UV rays. Oh my god, don't move. I'm doing a toddler's hands. Toddler's long little baby hands. <laughs> no. No long baby hands. Long little baby fingers. <laughs> long live long baby things. Huzzah! Get ready to put those things in the finger thingy. How do we chrome them? We're gonna put the chrome on it. This is it like chrome. a chrome machine? Oh. Chrome. 
Mm-hmm. You but don't like, touch your nails or what? You put your fingers down when you're talking to me. You put your fingers down. Down. Good girl. Do you I want have some yogurt? yogurt just in the car waiting for me. Why I don't you to bring yogurt your yogurt snack. in? I'm not gonna have time to eat my yogurt here. Wait, were they done? Did yeah. the light turn off? Yeah. Are you lying to me? I don't know. Okay, play back the tape. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, and this is a very delicate situation because this has never been opened. And the first <laughs> time I opened one of these, it just spewed glitter everywhere. And it was a good nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> So we just, uh, we just take our time. It's like defusing a bomb, a glitter bomb. So then we just dip into our little pow pow. Oh, pow. And we rub it on the nail. Oh. And then we're chroming. Do you like it? Me. What? <laughs> you don't like it? No, I do like it. It's cool as <laughs> fuck, bro. Chrome. Chrome always makes me think of Mad Max. Oh, with the ch yeah. Spraying it in his mouth. See, that's cool. That is cool. You can't deny the coolness of that. Haley Bieber could never. It's chrome. It's chrome! We just had the idea of the century. We're gonna do rhinestone flowers on an accent nail. Post chrome. Ooh. The chrome. I like it. Chrome. Oh, chrome. Okay. Filming. We're gonna do multiple flowers on your middle finger. Damn. Okay, so we do five of the pinks. We do a yellow in the middle, and we're gonna do, do you wanna do hot pink and purple? Or do you want to do baby pink and purple? Let's do dark purple and light purple. Good idea, Shannon. Great idea. Thanks for playing. Welcome to Sparkle Motion. Okay, so then I put a little bit of top coat on the center thing here. And by little, I mean a lot, a dollop. Like a, a dollop. dollop. Let's get a dollop of that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, then we pick up this midi finger here. And where do we think we want him? We want to do him like diags. So we're gonna put one little mother there and one little bitch over yawns, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna flip this over because I put this in my mouth. And we're gonna pick up the, the center of the flowy, drop it down, drop it like it's hot. Flip the over, bro. There we go. And drop it like it's hot. And then we do it again, over and over and over. Approximately 24 times. Wow! So Lizzie, wow. what made you decide you wanted to get into nails? I've always been into nails, girl. Wow! I've always been painting nails. With the gel thing? No, the gel thing is new. Uh, what made me want to buy my own gel thing? Yes. I was sick and tired of going to that place that charged me $147 <laughs> and treated me like shit. <laughs> you I said, love that place. I love that place and those bitches you are always, so you always nasty. always go to that specific place. They were so mean. <laughs> they were so they were mean. so mean. And every one of them sucked except for Sunny. It was a really hard environment. They like cut Anna. Okay. Off the record, and I was probably asking for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you be you. Give me the shaniest nails you can give me. Yeah. Yeah. Do your little freak fingers. My there it is. Freak fingers. There it is. Freaky fingers. Freaky. They're special fingers. They, she's a freak. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, let's look at it in 0.5 so your fingers look extra weird. My <laughs> Salad fingers. <laughs> Does Lily like them? Lily, what do you think? Lily, Lily look at mommy nails. Lily. Lily, come look at mommy nails. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Oh. Lily, okay. Wow. She's taking yeah. everything wow. she has wow. out. Wow. Yeah. So, Shannon, we're reaching the end of our time together here. Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about your nails? I'm pretty excited about them. They're really cute. They're pink. Hold that in front of your face with your little biker gloves. This is the exact opposite of gothic. <laughs> I know. So I was gonna do black on these two fingers and then this half black and half glazed donut and then these glazed donut and on the half, like a yin yang, I'd do glazed donut heart and black heart on the other side. That would have been really cool. See, it would have been cute, huh? It would have been cute. But well, I need this is really cute. I need four hours for that. <laughs> do you want to do my sign off? Do you know my sign off? No. <laughs> oh well, we'll. This is Lizzie Gordon. And uh, then you say. See you next Tuesday.